Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if your Google Chrome web browser has failed to load an extension. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial here guys and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Type in File Explorer. Best match should come back with File Explorer listed right above App. So go ahead and left click on that. Select this PC on the left side. Double click on your local disk where Windows is installed on. Select the View tab. And then select Hidden Items. Double click on the Users folder. Double click on your user account name. And now double click on App Data. Locate the Local folder. Double click on that. And now it should be a Google folder right here. Go ahead and right click on that and then select Rename. Add a .old to the end of it. So again dot or period and then old. Hit enter after that in order to save the folder name. If for some reason it's currently being blocked, you want to make sure there's no instances of Google Chrome open. So make sure if Chrome is open, close out of it. And if it's still not working properly, you can try right clicking on the taskbar, select task manager. And if you see any instances of Google Chrome, you want to go just right click on it and select end task. So again, any Google Chrome, you just want to end it. So because it's going to modify a folder that's currently in use here. So once you've done that, you're ready to go ahead and just close out of here. And now you can open up Google Chrome. I would suggest restarting your computer though, but you do have the option to open up Google Chrome if you want to. But again, I would suggest restarting your computer nonetheless. And then hopefully that issue should have been resolved at this point. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.